What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Erica, from the Classic Line blog. I'm out here in Austin, Texas. Uh, you know, out here, I was getting my walk on um, after my lunch because it was a little heavy and I needed a, a walkabout. But here's my problem. <laughs> I, every single day of the week, and as you come in, make sure you hit the like button, drop your city and state. You know, it's getting ready to be South by South Wild West here. Right now, they're on the education portion. Uh, later, they're going to be on the interactive. You can even see across the building, across the street, it has something about South by Southwest. You can even see in the park here. Um, the park is supposedly closed, but let me tell you, people here, they don't care. Look at this, all these dogs out here. They will walk these dogs when and wherever they want. Now, the title of my video is a little explosive, and maybe people are like, hey, 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 I'm a teacher. I know teachers. The school system is not a failure. Now, here's what I'm saying. Uh, there was a study that kept showing that over 23 billion additional dollars go to wealthy neighborhoods over you know hispanic communities black communities communities of color however you want to say it and that's but not by accident okay <laughs> but still the onus of your education is on you the education of your children is on you um now you're gonna say well erica i send my kids there eight days i'm tired when i come from work i'm sorry i didn't i didn't have these babies you had these babies now I'm not just leaving it on the kids to say that, you know, shame on these schools not properly or equally educating the kids. Now, listen, I went to private school. Now, many people say, I went to private school, Erica, and it won't that great. Every time I talk about private schools, I get that comment in the comments and I laugh because what it is is they bitter. Mo you're bitter about something that happened when you were younger and I need you to let it go. Sis, brother, I need you to let it go. Now, sis, so when you talk about private school, sometimes they're not that much better. Sometimes they just have a smaller class size. And that's something people, well, I ain't paying $500 a month for my kid to have a smaller class size. Well, then what you're telling me is you're not paying any money for your kid to succeed. Because either you're gonna pay $500 in the smaller class size, or you're gonna pay $500 a month in tutoring. Now, many people say, oh, I've never paid for any tutoring for my kids, Erica. My kids do absolutely well without tutoring. And I'm gonna tell you right now, your kid, if your kid is taking any intro classes, has to repeat any classes at college or community college, that shows you they did not do well in high school. Now, some people say, well, Erica, this is kind of harsh. I'm being this harsh because what we have right now is, yes, that's a skyline behind me. What we have right now is so many people who, like if I post anything, anything, Erica, where's the link? I need the link. I Because what they're saying is, not do I not just take your word for it, two, um, I do not have the, in, not the intelligence, but I don't have the ability to get on the computer and reverse engineer. The school system was supposed to teach you how to do what? Critical thinking. So we have a complete lack of critical thinking on anything. Like I could post one, I could just post anything. I could post anything. And if you don't say, you know what? I don't know about that. Hop on your phone, type in the question in a way that would make it pop up in search you don't know how to do it that's what that's all that means it just means you lack critical thinking and there's nothing wrong with that um but there has to be a balance right there's a lot of people teaching well if people don't know something uh you just turn around and sell it to america you just put it in a course but to me there has to be a balance between everything going into courses and everybody just saying put a link in the comments <laughs> why do i sound negative in all my videos uh, you know, here's the thing, career highlights. There's a thousand seven hundred videos, and if I sound negative on all my videos, maybe I'm just not the person you should watch. Maybe you should unwatch me, because a lot of people think I sound positive. So if you want me to blow rainbows and smoke up your ass, this isn't the channel for that, right? And, and there are some old videos where Erica's like, I'm all like motivating. You should do this. You should read these books. And guess what? That cheerleading mode. I'm not your mother. I'm not your mother. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your wife. I'm not paid to be your cheerleader. And that's not being an asshole, that's just telling truth. And here's my thing about that too. If I was a man, we'd be like, yeah, you're a hard cut kidding, you know, man. You know, but it's like, cause I'm a woman, you're expecting me to be extra feminine and kiss your butt and make you feel better about your lack of knowing. And that's not my job. Baby, that's not my job. And that's the problem. They're, that's another problem with the American school system. If you look at women professors, they get negative marks if they're not extra uh, coddling and here, whatever you want, have a good day. And that to me serves no purpose. You know why? Because what happens? That started in high school when you were in class with nothing but women teachers. <laughs> nothing but women teachers. 
and expecting women teachers to pat you on the back. I had men teachers, and, and this is why I'm very, I'm very grateful. And I want to make sure that you guys understand, yes, the American school system is, is almost a failure. <laughs> Uh, almost everywhere you go, but I had over eight, no, no, I had nine male teachers, military retired men teachers. They did not put up with this. They had no, uh, they didn't put up with this. I'm sorry. They just didn't put up with any kind of uh, back talk or questioning or, and I'm not saying I don't want you guys to be like just drones, but I definitely want you to hear what I'm saying. Men teachers don't have time for this. They don't, <laughs> you know, if any moderators are here, you can put that person on timeout, but, but that's not my point. The point is like men teachers never tolerated us not learning the lesson and not doing critical thinking. And they didn't say it in a tone that was babyish. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you listen, Amanda P, that's the thing. People always want to be entertained. Like, and that's why we have, you know, I'll just say what I say about CPAC. I have a video where I'm kind of rounding out my thoughts on it. Um, for my vlog while I was there but the whole time I was at CPAC everybody was like liquored up they were giving out tickets for people to drink uh, they were doing a lot of they were giving out tickets for people to drink one uh, and then two they were they were kind of like when Donald Trump came on it was almost like a comedy show it wasn't even like a president speaking it was like a comedy show anytime Barack Obama came on it was almost like he was educating you a little bit and then he would then he would do his talk Trump is like the whole time it was like comedy routine and people love that they want it to be coddled they want it to be everything has to be funny and Erica just be funny and do pranks and do silly stuff because that's what we want girl we just want you to be silly and that's your problem that's that's why I'm here and you're there you know and people may say man that's really negative Erica but you know here's what here's the problem I go to dinners and I go to luncheons with people and they go why do you even waste your time on YouTube you could just run Facebook ads and get buy, get sales that way. And I go because it's important that we teach the community for one. And for two, it's important that we spread information that helps others because someone helped me. Someone had gave me a hand up and I also paid for a lot of education along the way in courses. So it would be kind of silly for me to go. I don't have time to educate, you know, to share just a few things here and there. That'd be crazy. So yes, I had male teachers and they kept on exactly. Male teachers don't male teachers don't have this time for, oh, do you feel good about it? Or are you okay? So yeah. Let me see. Let me see what anyway, the point I was making about it is it's the lack of critical thinking and it's also the lack let me see. Someone said their niece is stuck in a school. Man, yeah. So far behind. Listen, I have friends who have gone to uh, South Carolina to teach school. And South Carolina was giving out all these incentives and they couldn't figure out why. They got down there, they're like, Erica, these kids cannot read. These kids cannot read. And not just not read, but can't comprehend. Like you're giving them a test and they cannot comprehend at all. So again, oh yeah, Dr. Umar school, man, let me tell you, listen, if he gets it done, awesome. <laughs> Kids don't have basic life. They don't have basic life school. See, everything I'm saying to you, um, people are like, oh, man, that's negative. Everything I say to you, you can literally go look this up. But when someone says, Erica, I can't find it. Like, I even have named whole books. I have put my whole, I have put whole title of books and the author and someone go, I can't find it, Erica. I go, you're joking, right? I just gave you the whole title, the year the book was published almost, and the name of the author. And they can't find it. What does that tell you? Think about it, people. That's critical thinking skills. That's reverse engineering. Some of the people I watch on YouTube, like the reason I kept mentioning Alex Becker, I didn't want to just name off the videos. I wanted you to fall into his videos and watch several of them because he's literally step by step giving you techniques to actually do things that'll give you seventy to hundred thousand dollars a year. Let me tell you how serious that is. I've actually talked to seven different people that I actually that have put in the comments. They've even commented here. They've emailed me and said, Erica, these are the six videos. You should name them. I said, no, you did the hard work by finding the videos that are clearly findable. So can other people. I'm not naming them for a reason. I want people to actually go learn how to research, learn how to type, learn how to type any of those things in. And there's just no reason for that. No, there's no reason for you not being able to type in the name of something after I give it to you. There's just no reason for that. That makes no sense. Let me know if it's louder because I'm by my car. Um, 
but there was like a group of Indian men just like, what is she doing? <laughs> so I thought it was funny. Uh, but, but that's the problem. It's the parent's fault too. People too much emphasis on outside forces. As a parent, you're your kid's first teacher. That's very true. A lot of folks want to be spoon fed. Yeah, and here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm trying to have that delicate balance because let me tell you, when I go to these conferences and I pay for some of these masterminds and I actually go on some of these Facebook groups, they're like, oh, Erica, just, you know, just throw a course together. Don't do that. Just throw a course. Why are you teaching that for free? Get throw a course together because there should be a, a, a balance between always selling courses and some of this information we just give to each other. You dig? Like there has to be a balance. And even when it came to the trucking thing, I've had, uh, I would ran some ads on Instagram for trucking. Some people can see me getting trucks, see that I'm a woman that could do it, and see like you can work together with people and get trucks. And I, to this day, have literally 100 messages a day where people are like, hey, how would you find out about that? Okay, here's the link to the course. Oh, okay, thanks. And they're like, does he have, do they have testimonials? And I'm like, if you go to their website, I mean, if you go to their Instagram, they have 100 different pics of all the people who took in the course and bought a truck. Oh, okay like you can just tell people who are not well read well studied anybody can literally hop on instagram and follow probably a hundred pictures and determine if something is legit if something has merit if it has value but again our school system has failed people completely failed people and i'm not going to say all parents have failed because even though your parents should be the one to teach you how to read Again, we have a huge illiteracy program in America. I have a speech impediment, and to this day, my family's like, no, nah, you just talk weird, that's all, you're fine. And I was like, I'm so glad someone at school was like, no, nah, we're gonna put her in these classes so we can help her with her phonics, right? And many people say, they used to joke, won't you just get hooked on phonics, Erica? As a kid to my mom, which my mom would be very offended, but it was the thing of, we refused to address uh, just critical thinking. So yeah, we're gonna have, <laughs> we're gonna have a ton of people go by this is south by southwest not really but some of these are tourists some of these are people who live here but this is the park for you um i've noticed parents what i've noticed is parents will go hard for a child playing sports throwing a ball around but careless to invest in their child's game exactly and, and here's the thing you know what i hear all the time i'll hear oh i didn't know my child was dyslexic if your child's 13 to 16 years old and you did not know they're dyslexic you have failed as a parent because if your child was three four five or six years old they should have been reading to you out loud and writing their name and several small things like their homework on a piece of paper and you would have seen the struggle with letters writing some letters backwards um not being able to comprehend and this just tells you the level of their parenting i literally had a lady go oh my son's 15 i didn't find him. he was actually 13. i was like well didn't he read to you when he was five six seven eight no i was working late hour like she finally just confessed it no i was working or something was going on and it's like good at least you're honest but that doesn't help your son who's been feeling behind the school system for years now and now he's 15 and you're finally giving him audiobooks and like even she was trying to say well my son can't learn like everybody else erica uh he can learn he can listen to audiobooks he can listen to audiobooks he can watch videos he can go on youtube I mean, there are men who have built whole houses off YouTube, okay? Now, they didn't do every single part. They did get some permits for wiring electrical, but the excuses are at an all-time high in America for, you know, my kid is this and that. No. If the school has felt your kid, it's not the school. It's who? It's you. Yeah, don't let school, schooling interfere with your education. Mark Twain, that's right. Let me see. What's up? It's 100 of y'all here. Hit that like button, y'all. All my kids went to, went to public schools. All my kids are college graduates. It's the parents. That's part of it, Michael Ward, yes. Nowadays, there's no thirst for knowledge. I love learning. Jeopardy is a secret obsession. I'm telling you, listen, I have a friend who, he went to Japan, and he is working. And that's why I'm always, I, I, if you guys see me always commenting on a particular channel about black people in Japan, it's because I'm waiting for my friend to be interviewed on there. Because he basically went over there, and he works, in, he works at a business. And when you talk to him, you're like, how'd you figure this out? Oh, I was in the Navy and I came over here afterwards. Like, he has a pretty unique story. So, let me see. I'm going to say we're in trouble. Our kids are failing in reading and math. Your mom said put a sweater on. Hey, man, I probably do need to put one on. I was raised in South Carolina education my whole life. My mom and my tear girl. Ooh, yes. You know, you know how South Carolina was doing. What's up, rock and roll? 
Can you even voice chat your question on Google? So there is no, yes, Anthony, you can literally just talk in your phone to Google. It's crazy. Um, exactly. My cousin learned how to do car mechanic from YouTube. There you go. And this is why R. Kelly have women leaving their daughters. R. Kelly is dyslexic as well. So let's, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to go towards R. Kelly too much, but he's dyslexic. And if your mother thinks the only way, hey, if your mother thinks the only way that she or you can have some kind of better life is for her to leave you at the house of a known predator so y'all can get a payday, your mom should be taken outside and never mind. I don't want to get my chat on I couldn't watch TV, period, had to read. Take these phones away from these creating zombies. I'm starting to miss Austin a little bit. Man, this, this is just, this is Town Lake a little bit. You know, it's always somebody with a dog barking in the background. So, anyway. It's a black dude, too. I'm like, come on, brother, don't do me like this. Start it off. All right. He can learn all those words to the latest rap songs, though. Damn, I knew somebody was going to say that. <laughs> I work with teenagers. I found out they can't read and the parents can't read either. You'll send paperwork home. Listen, I don't want to tell all my friends who are teacher seekers, but a lot of the reason you have teachers, teachers quitting is because the lack of not just the child being able to complete stuff, sending parents home to sending letters home to parents and they say, oh, I just got it the day before. Well, we've already given your child a notebook and told you to check the notebook every day. So that means you're not checking your child notebook every day. And you're not, you know, then you're not reading the paperwork when you get it. So. Yeah, putting you in timeout. You guys say weird shit, I'm putting you in timeout. It's always been the parents to educate the children. Take these moms out. Why aren't people able to read? You know, so it's a combination of things. Like, uh, so if you guys can have an idea, my mom is 60 years old. She was the first a girl in her family well out of my all my grandma's children my mom was the first one to born in the hospital and she was the first one to go to kindergarten they didn't have kindergarten before that they what they would do is in North Carolina you would go with your older sibling for two days to first grade so you could see what it was like and if you are well behaved the teacher and them recommended okay this person can come to school um, in the fall I mean like this is so <laughs> or they would say this child doesn't can't understand what I'm saying. She may not be ready for school in the fall. And so my grandma was like, well, all my children were ready because I taught them how to read. And my grandma only went to like seventh or eighth grade. Farm family. Never learned how to drive a car. She know how to drive a horse and buggy. She know how to drive that. Um, but like she taught them how to read. She'd read the Bible every day. My grandma wrote letters to my mom when she was overseas. Perfect handwriting. Even at like 90 years old, man. She was 80. She was like 78 at the time years old so it's like th the problem is the parents again you used to have two parent homes your mom and your grandma's job was to teach you how to read you didn't have kindergarten you didn't have pre-k you didn't have any of these programs you were sent to school to the first grade whatever they consider the first grade and you were supposed to be coming to class ready to write your name i think that's what my mom told me write your name and something else oh or at least at least know how to write a little bit the teacher helped you write your name Yeah, YouTube is no, Google is the only way I graduated from college, and that's the God honest truth. Man, Anthony Bolin, thank you for the five dollars super chat. But let me keep it. Let me keep it a buck. I know people to this day. I wrote people's papers, and I know people who are writing other people's papers, helping them pass school right now. So that's why when you have some of these people hiring college students, and they're saying they don't know how to read or they don't know how to write or or their grammar is terrible, there's a reason. Do I believe in skipping grades? Yes, I skip grades. Mr. Rogers, that's great. I want to work with you. Okay. Did you ever make a video on type of royalties to buy? I did. You'd have to search. Like, again, you have to search the channel. There's even a search button where you can even type it in. But I know everybody doesn't know um, YouTube like that, but that's just one of the things. Man, listen, and, and then and what happens is these are things that catch up with us later because people keep saying, well, why are all these kids living at home? Why are these people graduating graduate from high school still living at home? They are not mentally prepared. 
You didn't mentally prepare them for anything. You kind of coasted, you cooked them dinner, you let them watch TV to eight o'clock at night. I know people letting their five-year-olds watch TV to 10 o'clock at night. Why? I mean, again, so when people get these children at 18 and then they say, oh, it's the student's fault or the teacher's fault. Really, it's not. Really, it's just you didn't prepare a person for adulthood. Oh yeah, Tim A, trust me, I know. See, exactly. Sunday school at church, yeah. So yeah, failure to thrive. How do one graduate high school illiterate? I've seen it. Um, so there's a thing called No Child Left Behind. It was a program enacted by George Bush. Uh, but if you look at it, it allows teachers to not, some schools, not all, um, so you can't mark their grades lower than a D. You just can't. And so then also you're trying to uh, give them a, a combination of ways to make up, uh, make up grades and also summer programs that would allow them to still graduate. So, I mean, so you have people who actually have graduated high school and cannot read. Graduated high school, I mean like, so we had, we had a, a, a genius family at my high school. And the kid actually switched school so he could be valedictorian because his parents knew if he was valedictorian, he'd go to college for free. Um, and they had no TV. That was the secret. Like when they told us later, we don't even have a TV in our house. We just have, um, what do you call it? We just have books and music. And so they all played music. And, and like I, everybody thought it was like, oh, that's so weird. And I go, no, think about it. When you've got four, five, six kids at a house, they don't need TV because they're gonna fight over it. So, yeah, pretty. I mean, like, who's gonna? Who's gonna? <laughs> Here's the thing: school system as it stands right now is for the slowest learner in the class. So when you start hearing all these people uh, are bored and they need to be on ADHD medicine and Ritalin medicine, it's not because it's, they're sitting there fidgeting. These kids don't get to go walk. They don't get exercise. They just have to sit there. So, but the reason, the reason I'm bringing, it is cold, I'm getting cold now. Uh, <laughs> the reason I was bringing this up so much is the fact, trick, younger, help me read. Okay, yeah, closed caption, that's a good thing on TV. That's how people learn Spanish all the time. Spanish to English, that's how people learn um, Spanish to English in Texas. Well, another thing about that too is when it comes to me talking about investments, you know, and even if I put videos in an order sequence, like a sequence, like, hey, this is what a dividend stock is. This is how you buy it. This is where you go. Somebody will still be like, oh, and this is how I know. Let me tell you, this is how I know. The reason I make these videos so long, um, oh, you got blocked? What happened? Did you put something weird in there? Don't put anything weird in there. All right. So. The reason I make them so long is I'm answering questions on the back end of the videos. But on an on a even flip note is the fact that the average video that was on my channel that's watched is only 15 minutes. So people will put in the comment section, what's the answer to this question? And you go, if you actually finish watching the video, we answered that already. So that just tells you right there, very short attention spans. Um, a goldfish attention span is five seconds. The human American, American, not European, American attention span is seven seconds. That's why people are like, oh man, you need, you need more videos where you're doing all kind of cool stuff. No, that means you want to be sugared up and candied up and comedied up so you can learn something. Right? So, that, you know. The system teaches you to be an employee, not your own boss or make your own money. The system is based on Coasting on media art, yeah, very lack of critical thinking. Just reverse engineering. Um, if you think about it, the reason home ec has to go back in the schools is there's just a complete lack. Like if you look at this video and it's on cutting towel, this guy put the towel up against the wall and he made some marks and then he, then he cut it and he put up, and people are like, oh my God, how? He's the most basic, most amazing towel person in America. And the guy started laughing. He's like, you guys, this is just reverse engineering. Like I've cut so many towels I know this is the kind of line marks I need to make. And so again, we have people who can't do critical thinking. Um, they can't do uh, reverse engineering of projects. 
So then when you're you're here, why do you have technical writers? You have technical writers at an all-time high in Austin because engineers don't want to write. So you have a technical writer who actually goes through the steps, pulls it all out, writes it down for them because the guys are like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to write all that out, Erica. That's too much work. So you have technical writers who do that. That's why I'm going to bring Kamoy back on again. I'm going to bring her back on and, and literally talk about how you can make a bunch of money sitting around engineers all day because they don't want to write. Tinder people same as cockroaches. Damn. <laughs> don't disrespect cockroaches. <laughs> oh, shit. Housewives back then had minimal education, but new well, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not even about minimal education. You taught a bulk of what people needed to learn by the time they were in eighth grade. Like, let's keep it a buck. Like, um, I think everything my grandma needed to know about life by the eighth grade, right? Like, uh, and also, if you think about it too, women weren't really allowed in the workforce. So you really got some of the best teachers in America because that's the only place they could really shine was in a school system as a teacher or as a, a nurse. That's it. That's it. And then you had all these women. When, but people don't, when they do these war stories, there's one war movie that I love because it shows all these women that were like in the battlefield nurses. And they were almost as good as doctors because guess what they were doing? They were diagnosing what you needed, figuring out, okay, the doctor's busy over there cutting an arm off in World War II. What can I do to this patient right now and figure out how to help him right now? Boom, I'm gonna do A, B, C, and D. Like, so you had some of the best nurses, you had some of the best teachers because women were not allowed but in those two fields that was it that was the length of where they could go so you had the best women on earth teaching and then you had a mom who was full her whole job was to keep the house clean make sure you didn't embarrass her when you left that house okay so now you're in america where not the like people literally look at it as a job i know a couple teachers who i'm like you need to stop teaching because you don't even give a shit you're just there for a paycheck it's the truth. And then you have moms who are working, so they're tired. By the time they come home, they done threw something together for you to eat. Now you need to get out of their face because they're trying to decompress from work. You know, it, it, and again, if they're a single mom, then there's nobody to, to tag team hand it off to. Thank God my mom was married, uh, got remarried after my parents divorced. And the thing of it is, is you had somebody there. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, just go read this. Do that. My mom would sometimes come back off Fort Bragg, take her shoes off and fall, fall asleep. We ate chicken and dumplings and spaghetti so much I could not even take it. Hit the like button, you guys. Yeah, it's 105 of y'all here. But some of the things you can take away from just all of it is the fact that how do we combat that, right? You combat it by being active in your PTA meetings. That's one. Two, you, you have to be present. These schools will literally put anything through. And if you're not there to say, hey, that's not okay with me or my child, they'll still push it through, right? Another one, three, is the tutoring. I keep trying to talk to people about tutoring and people are like, Erica, people don't have money for that. Then what do you have money for? Because if, if you don't have money for the future, with your kid, that's why I have two, two glasses on, is the future, you know, then, then you, you failed. I mean, I don't know how else to say it in a nice way, but you failed, so. Dumplings, are you Caribbean? No, chicken and dumplings, like a Southern dish. It's very lazy in the winter time. It's easy to cook. Um, my mom, other things she could all time was stir fry because she had been stationed overseas. So she would make the stir fries, these giant walks. So, but uh, it's freezing out here. I think cause I've been sitting still, but uh, the problem is I just want to, I just want to bring that to you. <laughs> yeah, keep your belly full. It did, keep your belly full with some bread. I just want to bring that to you because sometimes when you see me in these videos and you're, you see my, seem a little bit irritated, it's because of the lack of people don't know how to research. And when I tell them something, hey, where's the source? Especially when I would go over the manosphere and I, that's, why I, that's why sometimes I couldn't go over there because a lot of the men are angry. But when I ask them, okay, Google this, where is your documentation? You know, where did you research this to find it? Right? Well, Rose Bell, it's not even capitalism. People love to blame capitalism, but honestly, a family of four could survive if your husband made 70K a year. But that would require your husband, not your boyfriend, your husband to make 70K a year. Nine times out of 10, many women, as you see the past 10 years, stay-at-home moms went up 13%. In the past 10 years, it's because 
they realized when they did the math, hey, if we trade this soccer bomb van in, you know, we trade the soccer bomb van in <clears throat> and we cut some of our expenses and I actually cook every night. Oh, look, we save money. But then, you know, people say talk about insurance. Um, some of the big factors that mess up those numbers are insurance for your kids, teeth, dental, eyes, dental. And what's the other one? Taxes. Basically, those two mess it up for most people um, when they try to do the stay at home mom route. And I, I hear a lot of men all the time. Oh, I didn't plan for my wife to stay home. You didn't plan? So you just thought she was going to be pregnant and work and then turn back to work five days later? <laughs> like, that's not how that works, baby. You got to sit down. <sighs> just found you. Loved your videos. Thank you. See, here's the thing. Um, capitalism can free you. People want to blame capitalism for why they're not successful. This guy said capitalism creates winners and losers, but ultimately it doesn't. Like, Aisha Selden, there's a video, I'm probably going to share it into the common commentary side. She's on Todd Capital's podcast, and she's talking about she has an aunt who never finished high school. She only made $25,000 a year, but when she died, she had six figures in an investment account, and she had, oh, no, six, yeah, six figures in an investment account and some other stuff going on. And what you'll meet is a lot of times older baby boomers which people want to complain about they would get something and pay it off they get a car they get a house they would pay it off and people talk about capitalism like it's horrible no it's not go overseas this is how i know people haven't traveled i've literally since i was 12 years old gone on carnival cruises with my family to almost every single little caribbean country and then on top of that i've traveled during college and after and you will see people look like this they get no choice but to be a maid a maid or a cook in America, if you were made or cook, it's because you chose it. But you got opportunity to move up and down. There's literally a, a show on Blue Collar Millionaires on CBC where the guy was a janitor and was like, you know what? I can do that. I can do that. And now he owns this huge construction company. He just realized he could do it. And that's the problem. We have a lot of people who they're blaming capitalism instead of really honestly taking extreme responsibility for themselves. And that's the problem. So... A little bit weird but uh, yeah it's walking a dog let me see chris warren there's so there's so much let me tell you when i worked at financial aid office and i would say hey if you go on this website you can fill out like 30 scholarships oh can i just take the loan there's a combination of there's a combination of let me be careful there's a combination of i don't want to do that i just want the easy answer and the easy answer is student loans. And so when you talk to kids like, you can go to school absolutely free if you go fill out all these papers. No, I don't know that. I've heard it every day, every day of the freaking year. Yeah, you gotta plan it. Talking about money and stability over romantic relationships will bring you heat. A and one, every time I bring up, I know Indian people. I actually know one or two, there's an Indian blogger. She's very popular. She, I'm not going, I don't want to quote her because I'm scared I'm going to get it. She divorced her husband because she said they were just like friends. Their families put them together and they had amassed like $5 million. And they literally looked at each other and she said, listen, there's no passion here. I don't want to have kids with you. Can we get a divorce? And they got one. And people are like, I can't believe she left him. And she's like, we split everything down the middle. She's like, we were two people with high paying jobs. Our family puts together. It was nice, but we realized, you know, we want a little bit more. And what happens is people jump into relationships out of like romantica and then they're hating each other and then they can't work numbers out and then they divorce and it's worse. So I rather people go, we share common, common things, common interest. Let's get together. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. But it's not this, I need to marry this man to financially make it in life or I might die. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like talking about people choosing partners on common sense things is taboo. It's taboo. And, and I want to tell you, I want to be very careful. There was literally, there was literally a guy, and you guys might have known this if you saw some of my earlier videos. I was dating a guy who, uh, he owned his own, like Edward Jones. Great, great black guy, a little bit older. And he one time was just like, so we doing this or what? Like, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we getting married and have kids or we know what do you want to do? And it was so unromantic, you guys. I was like, ugh. And I remember like, hey, how you doing? I remember walking away from it. And to this day, people go, you, you think that was the right ideal? And I said, honestly, he just was a little bit dry in his approach, but 
looking back, it'll work just fine. We are very much the same type of people. So if anybody ever sees a particular gentleman on my channel, I'll let you know who he is. But he just was dry. He just was dry. But he was saying something that was made sense in his mind. This makes sense. You you want to get married a little good? <laughs> At the time, I was younger and just was like, oh, that's that's very unromantic. So again, but we're taught in this kind of like daydream effect of hey it should be like this or it should be like that when ultimately it's like are you guys compatible do you guys are you nice to each other do you have the same shared values these are things people don't think about erica you're going to own that skyline background hey i remember when i left austin to go back to memphis i got a tip job as a port lift driver most of the room couldn't even pass a simple eighth grade math test it was very bad i had to help them all see anthony that's very true like right now, my problem I'm having with a lot of these drivers are they've been driving for 20, 30 years. I know, right? Why is he honking? <laughs> they've been driving for 20 or 30 years and they want to retire, but they haven't saved any money. They haven't put any away. They don't own a truck, so they can't really dictate their schedule. And when you break it out to them like that, they're so angry. But it's like, who are you angry at? Yourself? I love the videos. I've learned so much. Working on buying a second home in this real estate game. Yeah, earlier I was on Instagram telling you, you know, it's not even just about real estate. It's just investing in itself is a game. It's all a game. You know, the more the person who puts the more tokens away, you know, gets gets better results. And people will say, well, Erica, I don't have a high paying job. But then I asked them, have you followed what I tell you to do in Smart Phone Millionaire Book? Have you even just started with twenty five dollars a pop? And then people get mad or I talk about tax liens. If you take tax lien course, you know, there are there's a particular bank that gives you money for tax lien certificates. So I work two tech I work at two tech jobs that are willing to pay for school. No one wanna take advantage of it. Common interest first. What's love got to do with marriage? Okay. Many people are simply not interested in anything of real value. Finding a woman or a man on your level with no debt is a dream, man. People get married because the kid is not real mature person people reasons. Romance is a little over objective reality. Yeah. You know, so I mean again. All these things, uh, when people say, well, why does this have to do with our original topic of the school system is an absolute failure, is because there's no critical thinking. There's no long-term objective math. Again, when people, when I talk to people all the time, they go, oh, my mom got married, got pregnant at 19 and 16 and 17. I said, well, your mom knew. This isn't like a secret. This isn't a, a secret. If you have a baby at 16 and 20 with no spouse, bar barring a miracle, you're going to be poor barring a miracle barring the fact that and then you say well no Eric I've got family and friends who help me what you just said is you're willing to sacrifice your parents longevity life health and wealth so that you can be selfish again that is a failure of American school system the American math system like come on now come on let's just do the math that's easy <sighs> Shut up. My friend had a GoFundMe and had, your friend was pregnant, had a GoFundMe of $5,000 so she could stay home longer from work with her kid. Stop. Damn. We're being taught how to be an underclass, yeah. Where to invest in real estate and low risk and crowdfunding black holes, yeah. Beat Ween, it's in the, always in my descriptions. My book, Smartphone Millionaire, any of the classes I teach, I have a thousand seven hundred videos on this channel all talking about the same thing over and over again investing in platforms and I just I get tired to repeat myself I know so there I know there's like three thousand new people on the channel thank you for coming on the channel I really appreciate you definitely go check out some of the older videos um, my mom's active in PTA yeah some girls have self yeah fundraising for her mistake yeah I mean and, the, and see this is the thing somebody said Erica you know America's not that bad we don't have food lines we don't have people who are going hungry I said we do have food lines we have 40 million people on food stamps if they didn't have those food stamps where would they go for food where would they go they'd be outside somewhere stayed in the line okay so again this is again American math failure of math someone's gonna say well Erica there's not jobs everywhere again we've got thousands of trucking jobs open we've got hundreds of thousands of tech jobs open what are we missing people who actually want to get a certification and do it micro's dirty job says all the time you guys keep complaining about construction jobs and no one's 
cheap to uh, you can't find a cheap plumber you can't find a cheap roofer you can't find a cheap electrician because there is none we literally gutted the american men who were going to do all these trades in the 80s and 90s so again if you're a man and you are handy you are busy every man i know that is a handyman i can't get him on the phone i can't find it hey man i got this job man i'm busy for the next three weeks okay so and some of you say well erica i don't want to be a handyman well are you going to go get certifications are you going to get trained i bring tech people on the channel all the time all the time for you guys to get trained so construction let me tell you something betterment let me let me correct you there construction management is exactly a woman's job my friend works at one of these buildings downtown i will not mess her with her she there's literally 10 women managers on her floor but here's the problem out of the 10 seven of them are pregnant why because this company did the wrong math the company did the wrong math they assumed all these women are 35 and up they ain't getting pregnant they are in the what the mom who has kids in high school stage wrong women are having children later so now this office has seven women managers at the same time of a construction firm one of the biggest in austin texas all pregnant at the same time so what does that mean all are going to go on five month maternity leave at the same time come on like like you're, it's an excuse it's like saying women don't belong in trucking i've had over 25 women apply for the jobs but they were all like i'm trying to do something local i said well honey you know if you ever want a partner in the future and i'll help you buy a truck i'm all about it you can pay me back we'll do a loan i own a handyman business and i pay my handyman forty dollars an hour no joke facts because again you have more women living alone buying houses living alone don't know how to fix something they go to youtube maybe they break it maybe they get it close don't do it all the way right gotta call somebody they got a lot of men who live alone don't know how to fix stuff dad didn't show them they go on youtube maybe they get it right they call a handyman and a handyman doesn't have the same certification or legal uh wrangling as a contractor so Her choice is where, <laughs> where the blame lies, exactly. But yeah, but again, um, our, our education drives people to poor decisions. Getting in debt, 50K is stupid when I was in college. So let me, let me make this very clear. The average person in America, student loan debt is like $20,000. Everybody believes it's like this $100,000 student loan debt. Like that's not true. The average American student loan debt is like $25,000. So if that's the average, that means there's people way less and people with way more. If you got $20,000, let's do the math, and you have to pay it back over 10 years, that's 150 bucks a month. That's $37 a week. But because the system lets you defer loans, people keep deferring loans, which leads them to what? Now, 10 years later, interest compiling, they got the same 25,000, but a little bit more interest, and they still haven't paid the loan. Because nobody wants to go, oh man, I gotta give them 150 bucks, yes. You have to give them 150 bucks. You have to do it. Do it. And so that's why I'm not very sympathetic to the I have student loan argument. Because I know at least 10 people when you talk to them, how much you owe, man? Oh, man, I own like 22,000. Why the hell you ain't paid it? Man, we in our 30s. Stop playing. Now, I do know people, very honestly. I know people with 150,000. I don't even know one girl who's a dentist with $350,000 of student loan debt. Let me tell you what, <laughs> she is upset. She is upset. She says, if I could go back and, and give them back their money, I would do it. Now she owns a practice. She does very well for herself. But what you have to understand is now she had to learn. She had to learn is I have to own a dentist practice and hire other dentists to work with me. Now that was never her skill set. Her skill set was to be what? A dentist. We don't talk about this with people though. <clears throat> we don't teach them how to run businesses. 22k ain't nothing man let me tell you people running around getting driving around forty thousand dollar student loans uh forty thousand dollar cheap chair keys forty thousand dollar lexuses and talk, talk about i got twenty two thousand student loans it's stopping me from buying a house you're a ball face liar again even undocumented day laborers go home depot make twenty dollars an hour hey man i'm telling you doctor law students oh 150 000 Woo. seven women <laughs> No, God is Noel, they're all married. But listen, if you were a company, let's be honest, if you're a company and you're hiring college educated construction management women who have worked their way up to like the best firm in, in Austin, Texas, 
and they're in their late 30s as a, a hiring person what do you think you think oh these women are done with their childbearing years they're probably children are at high school 35 36 37 38 these kids these, these women are done uh -uh. they made the miscalculation that you're talking about modern late millennials if they're under 38 who haven't had children yet so they did the miscalculation so did overtime for three years straight to pay mine off holla at your boy so all right it's been 45 minutes i'm gonna run out of here you know because i was supposed to be walking and i was talking to y'all cutting up um but here's the thing tech 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 four or five of those buildings on there are tech marriages pregnancies and divorces happen in clusters hey it's something in the water they say they say don't drink the water at her office they think it's a joke now and plus they're all now they all can't even take their maternity leave at the same time they're all trying to stagger it so anyway and then here's my problem with that reason why i say the american school system is a failure you got kids right now telling you well i didn't go to college i'm so smart because i didn't go to college but you ain't got no skills you ain't got no certifications what job are you going to get because i'm being really honest 95 percent of people are going to still get a job or they're going to do like short-term gigs so i always i always want to be like i ain't got no i ain't got no degree erica i'm cooler than people okay uh, but uh what kind of skills do you have and they ain't got nothing to show for it so anyway i just thought that was my two cents for today oops oh dang my thing won't work can you oops guess i'm gonna hang it up all right Woo! I hope y'all enjoyed that because it was cold out there. I should put my gloves on. Anyway, you guys, this is Erica. Classy climb blog. Uh, yeah, we got some delays. Uh, particularly Later.